coming to you from the Deep South. This is the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. High impact leadership is not reserved for leaders, and it has nothing to do with your position, title, or rank. However, it does have everything to do with your character. It's time to climb to the next level and beyond, personally and professionally. Now, let's start making it happen with your host, Max Story. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast today. Today the topic is leadership development is the key to transformation. So I wanted to talk about this today because beginning with the next episode, I'm going to kick off that 30-part series focused on the 30 chapters, uh, just some off-the-cuff unscripted talking about my book, Blue Collar Leadership and Supervision leading from the front line. So I wanted to kind of put the whole, that whole 30 part series in context by just talking a little bit about leadership development because it is the key to transformation. Leadership isn't just about the position or title that leaders hold. It's about the leader's ability to influence others, specifically team members. And let me just say this, if you're not a formal authority leader at the moment, this still applies to you. It still applies to you. And when you learn to lead like I'm going to teach in this upcoming series, you learn to lead yourself well, like I talked about in the 30-part Blue Collar Leadership series. But now you learn also to lead others or influence others the way I'm going to talk about in the Blue Collar Leadership and Supervision series. You're going to, if you want an opportunity to lead, you're going to, a formal authority, you're going to be given opportunity. You can deny it. You don't have to lead, but you're going to become highly effective whether you accept a position of leadership or not. So for those aspiring who already know, hey, I want to climb the ladder, definitely dig into this episode and the next 30. And actually all of the episodes I talk about on here are going to help you. Uh, This entire podcast is meant to help you either become highly effective exactly where you are or to allow you to become highly effective exactly where you are and to grow to the next level and beyond. High impact leadership is highly effective leadership that delivers results for you personally and for the organization organization professionally. It's more than improving culture, initiating change, managing an organization, or leading a team. High impact leadership goes far beyond short-term initiatives. High impact leadership is about lasting, long-term, positive impact, and transformation in the organization, and in the lives of others. So leadership development is personal and professional development geared toward helping someone develop their character and increase their influence, first, within themselves, and second, with others. And I've got a book. If you may not be aware of it, one day I'll do a series on it. I don't know when that'll be, but you don't have to wait. If you want to dive into transforming yourself, I got a book that talks. It's really a mental roadmap of how I literally transformed myself over and over and over and continue to do it. And it's called The Ten Foundational Elements of Intentional Transformation, How to Become Your Best Self. Regardless of what level you're at, if you want to transform yourself in any specific area of life, this book's full of principles. It'll help you do that. If you're a formal authority leader and, and you're working on developing and growing your team, the 10 foundational elements of intentional transformation will help develop the mindset of those people on your team so that they can start to see and understand how, how they may need to transform, why they may need to transform, and then also how do they actually do it. So just consider that when you're talking about personal development relative to literally leading yourself well. Uh, Character development helps us make better choices as individuals. And leadership development equals character development. They're really the same thing. How we lead ourselves, how we interact within our own mind, and then how do we interact with others. So character development helps us make better choices as individuals, which helps us be more effective at work and in life. And leadership development is the key to transforming culture, and 
to effective continuous improvement efforts. When you're talking about companies who are doing what I used to do all the time, leading uh, lean manufacturing, process improvement, Kaizen, all that type stuff. And I, I logged 11,000 hours doing that between 2005 and, and 2012, leading teams through all types of culture change, organizational change, and continuous improvement, lean manufacturing. So, and what I discovered, which is why I do this full time now, is leadership development is the key. It's the missing piece for many organizations who relentlessly and endlessly do continuous improvement but can't sustain the gains and can't get buy-in and can't get people truly engaged. I could just about promise you none of them that are struggling with that stuff has a formal leadership development initiative from top to bottom. That's why they struggle. The ones who have it, they don't struggle. Plain and simple. I see it all the time. I don't need somebody to tell me. I don't need a book to tell me. I have seen it and continue to see it. So leadership development at every level in the organization helps engage employees because they feel recognized, valued, empowered, and respected. So leadership development helps engage leaders at a high level as they become equipped with the tools and the knowledge on how to lead, authentically lead, based on their character, with 360 degrees of influence which will improve organizational effectiveness and communication while also increasing the team's performance. The team's performance is not about the leader, but believe me, I know this too. It starts with the leader and the leader has to know that it's not about me, but it starts with me. Meaning I got to develop me and, and grow and develop myself so that I can influence authentically the team, motivate and inspire and transform the team. Leadership development is the key to transforming the organization. And the last episode I shared about the three dilemmas, this one I'm talking about leadership development. And I did an episode a while back talking about in depth about the transformation equation. But you kind of you can kind of get all of this stuff in a PDF, uh, three or four page format. And all you have to do is is uh, just get on the Internet and type in get the transformation equation dot com. So that's four words all jumbled together. Get, G-E-T, if you can't understand uh, my, my pronu pronunciation of the word, but get the transformationequation.com. You can get all of the stuff I shared in the last episode, what I'm sharing in this episode, and then you can get a, uh, a visual of the transformation equation and a little bit more information. So go to get the transformationequation.com. And you can download, you can see it, but you also can download uh, this three or four page document, share it with, with your coworkers, your peers, your leaders, whoever, customers, suppliers, whoever you want to help understand this stuff. Just go to that uh, website and, and get the, the transformation equation, which also it's really a blue collar leadership white paper is what you actually call this thing. But it's got a lot of good, simple information in it. So if you haven't listened to the Transformation Equation episode, you can go back and find that. But the key is the formula, the equation is leadership development plus buy-in plus unifying purpose plus competency plus execution equals transformation. When you don't have leadership development, you get frustration. When you don't have buy-in, you get resistance, which is often because you don't have leadership development. So you have frustration and resistance. When you don't have a unifying purpose, you get confusion. When you don't have a comp the competency to do the job or to lead people well when you're being expected to lead, you get anxiety. And when you don't have execution, you get stagnation. So most of the time when the, lead the leadership development is the foundation. And when most companies, I mean, most companies don't have leadership development, they get, they don't have a lot of all, all of these things, all of these five components. So instead of getting transformation, they get some mix of frustration, resistance, confusion, anxiety, stagnation. Could be all of them at once. It could be different components at different times. It gets very complex and dynamic quickly. So when we're talking about 
leadership development is, is it, you need to know about the event versus the process. Whether it's you as an individual or you're a leader of a group or team, what you have to know is transformation takes time. It's never a quick task to improve culture and build trust in an organization. But it's well worth the effort. And as uh, David Katz, who's the president of Coca-Cola Consolidated, said, culture doesn't just eat strategy for breakfast. It eats everything. So what happens is leaders often overestimate the impact of a single event. If it's an individual level, they could overestimate the impact of reading a book. If it's a formal authority leader, they could overestimate the impact of doing a half-day workshop on some type of leadership content. That's an event. Reading a book is an event. Attending a seminar or training is an event. Watching a leadership video is an event. And leaders and people often overestimate the impact of a single event. And at the same time, these same leaders also underestimate the impact of consistent growth over time. That's the process. That's applying what I learned when I read the book. It's applying what I learned when I watched the video. It's applying what I learned during the half-day workshop. That's the process. Also, it could be doing book studies after a, a half-day workshop. You may know that Rhea and I offer for blue-collar organizations, for uh, city, county, state, federal governments, and nonprofits, any organization that fits into those categories that purchases 200 books from us, that's 3600 bucks. We pay all of our expenses and travel anywhere in the 50s. United States and conduct up to a half day uh, workshop. Those books have to be purchased direct through us, but you can go to bluecollarleadership.com and look at the special offer and learn more about that. And then you could contact me if you were to be interested. But the one reason I do that is because I want to kind of hit both. I want to hit the event and I want to hit the process. First of all, I, we speak for for free basically because the books actually cost $3,600, but we basically give you the books and reduce our speaking fees down to 3,600 bucks. And uh, basically we're coming speaking for free because you get $3,600 worth of books. So that's kind of the way it ends up. But we do that because we're passionate, especially me. I'm passionate about the blue collar workforce and exposing them to this stuff. But given, given the up to four hours on site training helps, it's an event. So it helps motivate inspire and, and engage people to go jump into the process. And because I've, I've gotten them to get the books, now they have a method to go focus on the process, which is doing book studies once a day, twice a week, once a week. Those, little, those books have 30 chapters. So there's 30 ways to continue the process. And then if they'll get another book, it doesn't have to be my book. It can be anybody's book but just continue dripping it or watching videos or listening to audio books together or having discussions or someone on the inside doing training. I also have certifications for people to get certified to teach my stuff within their own organization or to go out and speak and talk about it on their own and, and get paid to do it. And I offer a lifetime license. Uh, go to bluecollarleadership.com. Check out the certification page. You'll learn about that. But you think about the event and the process and Think about going to the dentist twice a year isn't very effective without daily brushing and flossing. If all you did was go to the dentist, which is an event twice a year, and you didn't focus on the process, your teeth would probably fall out. Just the way it is. At some point, you'd lose that battle. Cleaning them twice a year ain't going to get you there. It's kind of like leadership development. Putting somebody in a workshop once or twice a year isn't going to do it. And leadership development shouldn't only be done once or twice a year. It should be done endlessly. Great to have a couple of great big events, but you got to keep the drip going. That's the process. The leader's role is to uh, identify where the organization is going, define a unifying purpose, and determine where individuals will be most effective. And high-impact leaders want to grow the people and the organization, both. And they realize leadership isn't about them, but it starts with them. And high-impact leaders engage the front line 
to improve the bottom line. And that's what my whole focus is about. But when people hear that, they think, oh, he just focuses on the front line people. No, I focus on the leaders and the front line people because the reason the front lines are not engaged is because the leaders are not engaged. But they may not know that. So I just want to touch on quickly some leadership development and training strategies, and we can help you with all this if you need it. You know, go to bluecollarleadership.com and check out all the stuff there. Go to topstoryleadership.com. That's that's a site for everyone, not just blue collar folks. But the strategies, you know, there's several different things. On-site leadership development sessions, which you kickstart and sustain your organizational growth initiative with live engaging sessions to motivate and inspire leaders and team members. And that's what we do most often. We're, we're going all over this country doing on-site leadership development sessions. And most of them are where people buy the 200 books and we come and speak for free, basically, uh, or reduce our speaking fee down to the cost of the books and give them the books. That's actually how we say it. And then uh, some people are well on their journey and they have us come back multiple times or we speak at big conferences, all kinds of things like that. But getting us or somebody like us on site is one way to do it. The next thing is providing resources for leadership development. Create a company library with leadership development books. Invest in team members by giving them books. Encourage team members to listen to leadership podcasts like this one or audio books. And finally, set the example. Leadership is more caught than taught. And then book studies or roundtable sessions. You can select a facilitator to regularly lead a group of four to ten in the break room, in the work area, on the job site, anywhere. Doesn't take too long, especially with our books because they're they're 30 chapters, only three pages each. You can get through a chapter, six or seven minutes. And you don't even have to read it together if you don't want to. Get everybody a book so they can highlight and then play the audio book. Download the audio book and play the audio book while everyone's underlining their key uh, takeaways while they're listening. And then just have everyone talk about their key takeaway and why they underlined it. So simply read, read and review one chapter together from leadership books every session it only takes 15 or 20 minutes and again if you go to get the transformation equation.com uh, when you get into the section here that i'm talking about now there's actually a link on on that hand on that uh pdf file where you can download a script for facilitating book studies so those last three things i talked about is really what we do as part of our special offer and again you can go check that out bluecollarleadership.com special offer but it covers on-site training and development. It comes with a 200 books, so you got a lot of resources, and then you can do book studies and roundtable sessions. Another thing is identify top performers as champions. So you do that, you engage top performers by giving them opportunities to champion leadership development and organizational growth. And you allow them, allow them to post motivational quotes throughout the facility or email them out once a day or however often you want to do it, once a week or lead book studies. And that's a way to incentivize incentivize your top performers. They're hungry, so give them opportunity. You don't have to pay them. You can pay them, and they very well may deserve pay, but that's what I'm not what I'm talking about here. You incentivize top performers by allowing them to perform. And if they're engaged in your leadership development initiative, they're the ones who are actually going to help you transform the organization more than anyone. Then another way is train the trainer certifications. You can certify and equip one or more team members as leadership trainers so they can teach leadership development programs internally. They could actually teach my books. I have people that get certified all the time, and it, my certification comes with a, an e-kit, which means it's just an electronic download of a bunch of documents. You can print endless copies and train endless numbers of people and only charge $1,000 per person per book title, and it comes with that kit, and you're licensed for life to teach that content. You can teach it internally. You can go out and, and, and get paid to teach it, and you get 100% if you want to do that, if you want to use it to make money. I don't, I don't care what you do with it, except for I want you to make a difference. So you can learn about that at bluecollarleadership.com under the certifications tab. And so uh, just think about that, and again, you can get – the, the information I just shared, you can get it from uh, in a PDF document format at gettransformationequation.com. 
So a little bit about Blue Collar Leadership. Blue Collar Leadership provides leaders with a platform for training and developing the workforce to unleash their potential by taking powerful leadership concepts and packaging them, packaging them in easy to understand and apply resources. So I founded Blue Collar Leadership in 2016, so it's really just now starting to get off the ground, but it's picking up speed fast as, as it spreads around the country and people become aware of it through this podcast, my books, and word of mouth. And so it's uniquely designed content specifically created to engage and develop the frontline workforce, those who lead them and those who support them. So one thing we understand your biggest frustration as a leader is likely disengaged team members. And we specialize in helping leaders engage the front line to improve the bottom line. And again, that just start with the bottom, with the front line people. It, it encompasses everybody at every level. Front line workforce, those who lead them and those who support them. That's everybody. So don't mistake that I just speak to the front line entry level people. I've, I've spoken to 80 top leaders of a $3 billion organization from 40 countries around the world. All of them had PhDs just about it and uh, did a half-day workshop for, for those folks. It's everywhere. It's from the top to the bottom. Like I mentioned, I logged over 11,000 hours leading leaders and their teams through organizational change. Uh, Rhea, my wife, she speaks with me almost all the time we speak together. She's also an author, and uh, she's got a TEDx video. You can check that out at reastory.com slash TEDx. If you want to watch her powerful personal testimony about being sexually abused by her father from age 12 to 19. And uh, she's also an expert in leadership and life skills for women. And that's where she focuses on. And uh, Rhea has nearly 20 years of experience in leadership and management to, to back all this up. And she's an avid reader. She reads 50 personal growth and leadership development books every year. That's a lot of reading. And so we're also certified leadership speakers and trainers. And uh, we're certified actually to speak and teach on a lot of John Maxwell's content. We don't hardly ever do it, but if someone wants that, we do have that available to us. And we mix it in with all of our stories and it kind of becomes our own thing, teaching some of John's principles. But we also, what we really focus on most often is we've published 22 leadership development personal growth books. So that's where... You know, most people hire us to speak about our stuff, not someone else's. But we got tons of content from John that we could we could share if, if a company needs some of that or wants some of that. So some of the highlights for us have been helping train 20,000 Guatemalan leaders with John Maxwell in 2013. And there was 150 of us down there with him. And we got to go to the presidential palace and kick off cultural transformation across the entire nation and train those 20,000 leaders uh, in just about three days. We were busy and we got to speak at Yale University on blue collar leadership, innovation and talent development in uh, October of 2018. That was pretty cool. And then we've, you know, we've offered leadership development support for the U.S. military, Chick-fil-A, Auburn University, Chevron, tons of blue collar industries, lots of governmental agencies, city governments, county governments, water resource departments, public works, all kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this overview on leadership development and uh, get ready. We're going to start the 30 part series on blue collar leadership and supervision. Unleash your team's potential. If you don't have that book, go to Amazon, get it, download it. And uh, you can follow along with me in your book. I'll be releasing a, 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 a episode every three days. So it'll be 90 days to get out the 30 episodes where I'm kind of just going to talk unscripted about the book. So you're not going to get everything that's in the book. You're going to get additional thoughts and that sort of stuff. And I may highlight a few quotes and things like that. But get that book ordered, Blue Collar Leadership and Supervision. Unleash your team's potential and follow along with me. Highlight that book. Mark it up. Share, share what you're learning with somebody. Make it a tool. So get ready to go. Talk to you next time. Make it happen or someone else will. It might as well be you. Are you serious about taking your career and your life to the next level and beyond? Check out Max Story's Blue Collar Leadership Series books and others now available on audio along with paperback and ebooks 
at Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. Please visit bluecollarleadership.com to learn about Max books, programs, special offers, certifications, and more. Thank you for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast.